Hey there, welcome to my channel. It's Clara from my sweet DIY and guess what? I've got something super exciting for you today. Get ready for an awesome tutorial on making a fabulous granny tie bagless top. Trust me, it's gonna be amazing. So how about showing some love to my channel by hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. Let's have a blast and unleash our creativity together. We're going to start with the magic ring. We're going to wrap our finger like so. We're going to insert our hook under this strand and we're going to yarn over and pull through. Now we have our magic ring. And now we're gonna start with chain three and that counts as double crochet. One, two, and three. And now we're gonna make two more double crochets into the ring. For double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull through. Now you have three loops in your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You're gonna repeat that one more double crochet now you have a group of three double crochets since the first three chains counts as double crochet now we're gonna make chain two and that's for the corner and now we're gonna repeat that so we're gonna have three double crochets into the ring one two and three chain two for the corner and we're gonna repeat that around. We're gonna end up with four of these groups of three double crochets. And we're gonna end up with four chain two spaces for the corners. So I'll meet you right at the end. Now we're gonna pull that tail. We're gonna close the magic ring. We're gonna slip a stitch in the third chain from the beginning, chain three. And we close the first round. Now we have to get to this corner space and for that we're gonna slip a stitch. One, two, and three. Until we get to this corner space. Now we're gonna be working on this corner and we're gonna make chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And this counts, the first chain three counts as double crochet and the last two chains counts as the chain two space. So now we're gonna make three double crochets into this corner space. One, two and three if you can see here we have just one double crochet then chain two for the chain in between the corners and then the three next double crochets so we're gonna have to at the very end complete this group for the three double crochets now let's chain one and now we're gonna jump to the other corner space and we're gonna make three double crochets one two and three now we're gonna make chain two and now we're gonna complete that corner space with three more double crochets one, two, and three. Now we're gonna chain one and we're gonna jump to the other corner space and we're gonna repeat exactly the same, which is three double crochets, one, two, and three. And now chain two and another three double crochets one two 
and three. Now we're going to make chain one and we're going to go to the last corner. We're going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two and three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're going to make chain one and we're going to the corner where we started and we're going to complete that group and we're missing two more double crochets we're going to make one double crochet and two double crochets and since the chain five at the beginning counts as double crochet plus chain two we already finish. Now we're gonna slip a stitch in the third chain from the beginning chain five. And we're gonna finish that round. We're gonna slip a stitch again to get to the corner space. So let's start again and we're gonna start with chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one, we're gonna jump to this chain space. And there, we're gonna make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna chain one and we're gonna go to the corner space where we're gonna make three double crochets chain two and another three double crochets in the same corner space one two and three We're gonna go to this chain one space where we're gonna make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one, and we're going to the corner space. We're gonna make three double crochets. One, two, and three. We're gonna chain two. Now we're gonna make another three double crochets. One, two, and three. And that's the corner done. Now we're gonna chain one. We're gonna jump to this chain one space. We're gonna make one, two, and three double crochets. Chain one, and we're going to the corner space. We're gonna make here we're gonna make one, two, and three double crochets, chain two, and another three double crochets, one, two, and three. Now we're gonna chain one and we're gonna go to the last chain space. We're gonna make one, we're gonna make two and three double crochets. Now we're gonna chain one, and now we're gonna go and complete this corner space with two more double crochets. That's one, and this is two. Now we're gonna slip in the third chain from the beginning chain five, and we're gonna close that round. We're gonna slip a stitch again to get to the corner and we are done with this round for size small you're gonna end up with around 19 rounds or rows and of course depending on your body you're gonna adapt it to your measurements but it's going to be approximately 11 inches by 11 inches is going to be a square so yeah let's continue doing that and i meet you when you're done with the rounds
here I finished the square and now it's time to start making the ties so let's start doing that on the top of the diamond it's going to be like a diamond when you wear it so right at the top we're gonna make two ties each 120 chains and let's start doing that we're gonna make a slip knot and we are going to join our yarn right on the top and now we're gonna start chaining 120 I have 120 chains right here I'm just gonna chain one two I'm gonna skip one two three and in the fourth I'm gonna slip a stitch now I'm gonna chain one two I'm gonna skip one two and in the third one I'm gonna slip a stitch and I'm gonna continue with that pattern one two skip one two and in the third one I slip a stitch I continue that across Now I have to start crocheting the lace for the sides. 